Good morning. It is 5.53 in the morning and I'm gonna go down. I, I feel surprisingly awake. And I woke up at 5.30. It's probably because I, I slept like a good amount of time. You know, I didn't oversleep. I didn't undersleep and I woke up when my alarms went off. So it is pouring rain outside. It's actually been storming. That woke me up first. So there was like a huge noise of thunder, a loud, a loud noise of thunder. Assuming the treadmill is gonna be open. Open? I can't, I, you know, I'm awake, but you know, it's still 5.53 in the morning. But assuming the treadmill's open, I'm gonna walk. If not, I will probably do the elliptical and then I want to stretch and it's going to be like 30 minutes to an hour. So I feel good right now. Let's go do that. Oh, and I don't know if I said it's Wednesday. Y'all, I screwed up. It's almost nine o'clock, about to log on to work, and um, I feel awful because I made the mistake, and I know better, I should have eaten right after the gym, and I drank my green juice instead. Oh my god, my stomach hurts so bad right now. It feels like acid reflux. So now I don't even have an appetite. And I'm making my din what I typically have for dinner, which is avocado toast, this week for breakfast. Mm -mm. Ugh, I'm an idiot. I hurt so bad. Side note, this candle smells phenomenal. I got it at Kroger, Tuscany candle brand, her company, whatever. Lemon sugar cookie, it smells like a lemon sugar cookie. But I'm gonna go log on to work and eat this. Alrighty, I'm off work now, it's past five o'clock. Um, my, my manager was out sick today, so honestly I didn't have that much to do, but I still was like on the computer all day studying. I basically like I'm taking advantage of this time to study for my next certification in Salesforce. Um, but anyways, I figured I should, you know, even though I worked out this morning by doing just cardio, I probably should go for a walk just to get outside and away from screens. Unfortunately, it's not warm at all, at all outside. It's 54 or something, but it's gloomy and I'm not happy about it, but it's common. Spring is coming. It was here for a few days or, you know, the warm weather was here and now it doesn't look like there's any warm weather in the near future, unfortunately. Not warm enough for me, anyway. 60 ain't warm enough. We have 65 coming up next Tuesday, apparently, but it's gonna rain. That's still not warm enough. I'm gonna listen to a podcast, probably. I don't know which one yet. And then I'll, I don't know. Like, I, th I think I just need to... It's really not necessary for me to take another walk, like get more cardio in, but if I stay here, I'm just gonna continue to be on my computer and like, I know that's not good for me, so. y'all happy thursday i cannot believe it's already thursday that's insane i was just on about an hour long call with it was like shadowing i was shadowing one of the girls who was working on a project and that was really cool i like working with her so far i have another call in what at 11 30 
So in about 40 minutes or so. And I haven't eaten anything yet, just had my green juice this morning. So I went ahead and made my avocado toast again with peas. Now this has been like my dinner all week aside from yesterday, but I decided to just, I don't know, I kind of liked how I made it work yesterday. I had like a protein shake for lunch and this for breakfast. And then, yeah, I need to make dinner later today. Y'all. Okay, so quickly, it's 4.30. Um, today's been a little bit busier of a day, not like anything crazy, but I just got a call from my apartment and they said, okay, so I requested, let's see what this is. So I had, I kept freaking asking. I, I asked about this probably a month ago to have my, they, they're increasing my rent by like $164 here. And I said, can you guys include, they wanted to increase it to like 15, 37 or something like that. So I was like, can you include my trash and pest fee in, inside of that? So my lease is 14.99 plus 35 plus three for those fees. And I kept asking about this, asking about this. I've called them multiple times and I was like, they hate me. Now I called this morning and then she finally called me back and said that they can do that. So I'm gonna pay 14.99 for my rent total, which is still a decent increase, but better than, you know, everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like scatterbrained right now. I'm so sorry. None of that made sense. But basically, I was negotiating my rent and I did get it negotiated. I will link my PE Science referral link down below. I'm not like um, affiliated with them. This is available to anybody who purchases through them. <laughs> but I, a couple of people have used my link. So shout out to y'all. I think like two people. So thank you because it helps me out. Uh, I made an order recently. Um, I actually have ordered quite a bit of, I don't know. I always do this. Once I'm like, it comes to summertime or if I'm like really hype about fitness, I start to do things that are just not necessary. And I don't know, I just get excited about it. So I've like ordered a few proteins, including from PE Science, but that's not it. But the reason I did that was like, I love Owen. I love Owen's proteins, but they're pretty high carb. And you guys know that I'm going to Hawaii in less than 45 days now. So I'm planning this whole like cut situation. It's not that big of a deal like i'm not going extreme but i figured i can like reduce things here and there so obviously i still love my owen protein shakes but the powders are way lower in carb like significantly lower so i did order a few like it's so many though <laughs> like you will see and i my idea too was to like start reviewing vegan proteins because i'm extremely picky when it comes to proteins and i feel like i have a high, um, I feel like I can offer a pretty strict opinion or a judgmental opinion to protein because some people just don't care about the taste of it, but I really, really do. And vegan proteins can be tricky. So I bought quite a few to make videos on, but also just because I get excited. So anyways, all of that to say, my link would be down below. I appreciate it if you use it. I think you get $10 off. I'm up from the gym. I only did four quad exercises, but I think four. No, I did more because I did like a burnout and stuff, but it was just really pretty brutal. Making dinner, or starting it. And I've got to say that the rice cooker, a rice cooker, is a game changer. Hold on. All right, I'm adding some olive oil to this. Not too much. And then I'm gonna do garlic powder, quite a bit of that. And something that I did this week is put tomatoes with my rice cookers. My battery died when I was talking, but I just finished making my dinner, or I was talking to my mom and ended up waiting to eat, but this is what I was talking about. I like 
cut open the top of the tomato, remove that little hard part, you know, and put it in the rice cooker with the rice and it comes out beautifully. My mouth is salivating. And then this is my favorite way to make tofu, so I apologize, it's not very good lighting, but I just do coconut aminos or liquid aminos and then thyme and just cook it that way. I really like the texture like this because this is the extra firm high protein tofu that's available at Sprouts and it's really high protein but also way more firm than the other ones and so you don't have to cook it as much. I don't, this is my favorite way to eat tofu. So let me put that down. <laughs> but I don't have any vegetables or anything here which I know some people may, I don't know if anybody will say anything, but last week I was having some more stomach issues and I realized, I don't know, I tried like the hyper nourishment with the green smoothies, made me sick. So I just, I can't tolerate too many vegetables. And I, then I did my Humira injection and I noticed that like fixed everything and everything went away. So I think my body's kind of becoming dependent on it. But also I still just have to figure out my foods. And so this week I decided I wanna go down to like more bland foods because that's how I feel better. Um, just overall like less bloated and less stomach pain, all of that. So I just have to do what I have to do. I'm also sipping on some kombucha, very, very little. And I had purchased kombucha several months ago, that is the same kombucha that's in my fridge because my cousin who also has Crohn's disease, she said that she drinks kombucha and I thought that meant like the whole freaking bottle of it. And it makes, I don't know, I can't, it tastes fine to me, it doesn't really bother me, I don't love it. But the way it makes my body feel, it like, it's like I can't stand up straight and then I get really, really tingly. And it's so strange. I guess it's like the, I don't know, it's almost like alcohol, right? And I don't drink alcohol whatsoever. But then I saw her and she was like, oh no, I only take a very little sip and it helps. So that's what I'm going to be trying since I just have that. My, the, the kombucha I have in my fridge is expired, but like... I looked it up and kombucha doesn't, like the longer it sits, the better, right? It wasn't open, so I don't know. All right, I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna eat. So I got hungry. It's already 3.50, I've been hungry since like one o'clock, two o'clock. And typically I eat a banana, or just this week I would eat a banana, but they were way too ripe. So I was like, okay, let me make some little oat balls. So I mixed together um, peanut butter, oatmeal, the mashed bananas, and then honey. I probably should have added like cinnamon and stuff to it, but I really didn't like the texture of the oatmeal when I just ate them cold. So I decided to put them in the air fryer. And wow. Oh good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did not expect them to taste this good. Like it's like a cookie. Mm-hmm. Don't judge me, I put them in the bowl that I like made the balls in, so. Yeah, they got a little crispy, like a little burnt, but they taste, they don't taste burnt at all. It's phenomenal. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. It's about 8 in the morning. I've been up since 6.30, though, and then I just stayed in bed. I read, and then I was just on YouTube. I have a couple of book reviews to throw at you. And, you know, I've been getting really into <clears throat> book YouTubers, and it, like, makes me want to be a book YouTuber. Anyways, okay. I finished Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Well, okay, so I... I basically finished it a few days ago but I literally I re read the rest of it this morning because I was just gonna not finish the last like 10 pages so I like stopped reading it had 10 pages left and finished this book but we'll come to that so wrong place wrong time by Andrea Kane I give this like a five and a half out of ten which is just so upsetting um let me find the book that I liked of hers the book I liked from Andrea Kane was Run For Your Life. Now, I will say that Run For Your Life is not like a 10 out of 10 either, 
I would say that's like a seven out of 10, but it was uh, like I wanted to know what happened type of book. This book was not that at all. I'm only giving it a five and a half because there are some books that I cannot finish. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll read through several chapters and I'm like, I can't, I need to put this down. For some reason, I kept reading this one. I guess I was hoping that I would get to a chapter and I would be pulled in, but no. I think that the characters were, like she did a good job of descri describing them and all that, but it, it just was so boring. Basically, there was a murder involving the mother, a mother, and then the private investigator was the husband of this woman and the daughter of this private investigator was involved in like figuring out what happened as well and it never got better <laughs> and even at the end of this book when they showed who murdered who was the murderer it wasn't even exciting it wasn't like oh it was the boyfriend or it was like there was no freaking twist to it it was no so that's all the attention this one's gonna get i don't recommend i'm sorry andrea kane now, the problem is I have this other book by Andrea Kane with the same character. So it's the private investigator is also in this one. Um, I think we're going to go to the library today and return this and just not even, not even read it. Let me see how it starts out because I need it to start out like scary or intense. I don't know. These books are also so long. What the hell is this? Look, somebody was reading it and stopped. Yeah, I think we're gonna just return this book. Then I started this book, I finished it in four nights, five nights, I don't know. Colleen Hoover slammed. This is book number one of three. I liked this book a lot. Again, it is young love. The girl is only 18, she moves with her family and then meets the neighbor who's a boy. Once again, they do. she does a great job of just i don't know like each time i'm like i know the characters really really well you know she describes them well because each time it's always a woman and a man and they fall in love or whatever the case may be there is some sort of attraction there and she does a really good job of like letting you get to know the characters and there's just something about her writing that is is so intriguing um i did want to know what's gonna happen with this and um the what's weird to me is that there are three parts to this book so it ended how i would want it to end uh there was like a little i don't know like two or three chapters of the next book at the very end of this i decided not to read it because i didn't want things to change how they ended until i'm able to read that book i would give this like a seven and a half out of ten this one was definitely more emotional there were some parts that i like had tears in my eyes I didn't cry like nothing fell down my face you know type of situation uh just because I don't want to give any spoilers away but it was just like some sad parts to it but yeah still that young love where you know she's only 18 and um I still always will think that's weird what amazes me about Colleen Hoover is her ability to write lyrics or poetry and all that stuff because in, in a, many of her books they're like around this one is slammed so if you know what a slam is that's like when you recite poetry she was, she's just very creative i don't i don't know how she can she's like writing a book but also writing songs or poetry and it's it's pretty incredible so yeah that's my my update on these two y'all i'm pretty sure i just deleted some footage i didn't want to delete Ugh. Okay, I am going to the library. Pretty freaking pumped. Y'all know me. Unfortunately, George is acting up today and it's 30 degrees out, but it feels like 18 due to the wind chill. So that's really disappointing because last Saturday it reached like 78 degrees and it just, it doesn't make sense, you know? So I'm back in my heavy coat this is really crooked i apologize but i took a nap on the couch i was watching Shit's creek and then i fell asleep i didn't want to wake up at 6 30 today that was just like my body if you know what i'm saying so um now we're up it's already 10 30 so let me go to the library what out of 
the time, maybe. Y'all, I thought I got six. No, I thought I got five books and I got six. Whoops. I definitely won't be finishing these within three weeks unless some like craziness happens. But let's go through these. We're gonna start from the bottom because that was the order I picked them up. Lisa Jewell, two books from, no, one book from Lisa Jewell. She wrote, then she was gone, which I really liked. So I picked up I Found You. The way that I see if I want to get a book is I go to Amazon and look at look at the reviews. Honestly, I don't that's not the best strategy. I prefer to like I've been watching YouTube videos and I have a whole list of books I want to get, but 9 times out of 10, those books are not there. Like it's really rare. So this was not on my list. I wanted to get The Night She Disappeared. That was not there, so I was looking at which other, because I know she's a pretty good author, so I was looking which other books of hers are top, rate, top rated on Amazon, and that was I Found You. Let's see if there's a decent summary. Husband fails to return home from work one night. Okay, this seems pretty good. The man never existed. I don't want to like spoil it for me or anybody else, so I don't, I actually rarely ever read the summary of a book. Next, I got Christina Alger's Girls Like Us. I had this written down, I think. Yes, I wrote this down. I saved it in my notes. So somebody on the YouTube world or maybe on Reddit recommended this. This has good reviews too. I hope it's good, man. I hope it's good. String of grizzly murders on Long Island. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Next. This one was also on my list from Ruth Ware in a dark, dark wood. This looks exciting. My hair's all messed up from my beanie. Okay. In a dark, dark wood, what should be a cozy and fun-filled weekend deep in the English countryside takes a sinister turn in Ruth Ware's suspenseful, compulsive, and darkly twisted debut, psychological thriller. Sometimes the only thing to fear is yourself. Love this cover. That's like, I don't like hard covers, but for some reason it's intriguing. This had good reviews and yeah, as I said, this was recommended. Looks like there's some water damage in here, but still readable. Um, the text is pretty, not large, but decent. So number three, <laughs> we're not done. We're not even close to done. Okay, so number four, uh, I was looking through the library for almost an hour and I could not find anything else on my list that I wanted. So there was no Colleen Hoover. There was, but it was like, the books I've already read or the third part of a three-part series and I didn't read the second one yet. So I just started looking on the bookshelves for books that caught my eye, which is not what I typically do. But for me, I'm really attracted to like, this is what you see, colorful ones or um, like nice fonts being used. So the first one I that caught my eye was this, Attachments from Rainbow Royale, Royal? I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, this had pretty good reviews. It looks like somebody's job is to like read people's emails and then they fall in love with the person that they're, they're like reading somebody's emails. Um, it had good reviews and some people were like, this is my favorite book ever in the comments and like it shows human connection and such. So we will have to see about this, but I love the cover of it so far and the size is nice. This is like perfect to read in bed, you know? That's number four. Number five. So the next couple of, I kept looking. I don't know why, because we, we already have four books, but I was like, let me just keep looking, because why not? I just like to have a decent selection so that if I don't like one, I can move to the next one, which doesn't usually happen, or I can just like recheck the book out and I'm like, I don't have to go back and search for books again, you know? So that's why I get so many. So I was looking more for books that caught my eye and that is what these are. And it's the same author, Jill Mansell. And I feel like her books are gonna be really good. And for some reason she's not huge, which like, it's interesting that Colleen Hoover is so big and not many other authors are, like Taylor Jenkins Reid is, but Joe Mansell, Don't Want to Miss a Thing. This is a pretty huge book. 
um, with pretty small text. So this will take up a lot of my time, but I love how it looks. Uh, the baby stuff at the bottom here kind of threw me off, so I wasn't going to get this one. There was one that, like, it was called Nadia Knows Best, so I was going to get that because it's Nadia, which is one of my dog's names, but I was like, that's silly. Let me put it back. So these all had good reviews, by the way. There were so many. Well, there were like 10 books of hers that I could choose from, so... I went with this. Dexter Yates leads a charmed existence in London with money, looks, and girlfriends galore. Life's fantastic until his sister dies and his world changes overnight. Astonishing everyone, Dex leaves the city behind, takes charge of his eight-month-old niece, Delphi. So that's where I didn't want it to be about somebody like having a baby per se, because that's like, I, I know that's not my style of book. So I was okay with that. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so long. Number six, I got also another Joe Mansell book, as I said, maybe this time. And it, this looks like it's one of her pop more popular books. When Mimi Hoosh first visits her dad's new home in the Cot Cotswolds, she falls in love with Bruce Brook and the people who live there. Blah, blah, blah. Life is about to take some unexpected and shocking twists and turns, and Mimi's path and Cal's are set to cross again and again, but will never... But will it ever be the right for both of them? Yeah, so it's like another love book, and it looks like she writes well. So I'll keep you updated, of course. I know that I feel like I should um, start making dedicated book reviews. But I don't know. Some Like the people that I watch, they literally only talk about books for the most part on their channel. So it's kind of interesting. Those are the books I got. Very, very exciting. And I also got another thing just now which I'm gonna open I just ordered these like two days ago y'all I spent a lot of money on this all right just don't judge me I've been I've been wanting just a change okay I've seen these protein bars on quite a few youtubers videos the misfits vegan bars so I was just gonna go with the variety pack. I'm like, let me just try them. But then it's a way better deal to just purchase the bundle that they offer, which is four packs. And that's what I did. So each of these contains 12. I got the variety box, which contains all these flavors. I won't read them all. But I figured if there's something that I wanna try and like, you know, get it, keep on getting it, then this is perfect for that. I'll try everything, go from there. But aside from that, I did also get a whole pack of white chocolate peanut. I wanna say this was like white chocolate salted peanut or something. Here's some of the macro information. Let me just read that. Vegan, 15 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, 10 grams of fiber, which is good because I do need more fiber. And I know that it's better coming from vegetables and fruits and such, but y'all know how I, like, I can't tolerate a lot of vegetables right now. So yeah, gluten-free as well. These do have soy. Soy doesn't bother me though. I got chocolate peanut flavored and then chocolate caramel. So I'm probably going to end up like each time I take a bite, <laughs> each time I eat one of these, I'm probably going to film myself so I can put a whole video together reviewing and I told y'all I purchased like a shit ton of protein. I'm going to do the same with that. Would that be interesting? Would you guys want to see a dedicated video? I don't know. I feel like that would be because when I search for reviews, I search on YouTube when it comes to trying foods because I can see like their reaction in real time or at least you like hope that it's their genuine reaction. And I'm always honest about how things taste. So yep. That's a positive thing. I'm curious to see what It's two o'clock on Sunday and I'm about to do something that I haven't done in a really long time, possibly. No, I have before. I'm gonna go lift. So I'm gonna tomorrow I have to something's happening tomorrow. I'll talk about it in the future, but it's disrupting my schedule. So I'm afraid that I won't be able to work out. So I wanna just work out today what I would have done tomorrow. I told y'all earlier this week that I ordered PE Science. I got, I'm not showing you everything. This was, I've had this, but I ordered more. So I took my creatine just now, as well as my high volume. I got cotton candy. I had a sample of the cotton candy and I really liked it. So got cotton candy. And then I decided to pick up a pre-workout 
Alphamine. They have their prolific one as well. This one's a thermogenic though. The prolific one is not. Um, this is, I only took half a scoop and the scoop by the way is way smaller because I think it's more powerful. I don't even know, but it's a little scoopy. So I'm going to train legs. I am starting a new workout program that I found on Tiger Fitness and it's pretty exciting. I'll share it soon because I'll probably film a week of workouts maybe next week. I just came out from the gym and wow, that was top five best workout of my life. My legs are gonna be really, really sore tomorrow. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna eat like half of a protein bar and then go on a slow stroll, just a casual stroll for like maybe 30 minutes and just to get outside and then to keep like the blood flowing in my legs. So hopefully I can prevent some of the soreness and then I'll come back and shower.